just a quick one for you today, and I know that's usually Kev code for I've got a 15 minute waffle coming up. I promise you that's not what's happening today. It really is going to be quick. I genuinely don't have very much to talk about. I've not had my camera with me all day again. It's been busy, busy, busy. We're in the final stretch. Um, but I did want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you to everyone who got involved in yesterday's vlog, whether you were one of the dozens of people who shared it on their own social media, emailed or wrote letters to the school, um, sent me and Anna messages of support, um, or just put in the comments that you were on our side and you were rooting for us, or anywhere in between, anything else you did that I've forgotten about, just sending positive vibes our way. It's all massively appreciated. I read everything. I haven't had a chance yet to reply to everything or even click like on everything. But as of, what time is it? 10 past eight on Friday evening, I have read every single message that's come our way. And I will do my very best over the weekend to get around to replying to all of you because we just it makes such a difference. Massively appreciate it. I feel so much more positive this morning. We've not heard anything at all from the school. It's a day and a half since I sent them the original message. Um, asking them to sort themselves out and we haven't heard anything back from them so I'm not really sure what's going to happen next part of me is expecting a court summons and no further contact from the school but I kind of wouldn't mind that too much I think it wouldn't do us any harm at all to be able to turn up at court and explain why the school and the education system is wrong um, as soon as I'm done at work we plan to appoint a solicitor once we've got time to do it and take some legal advice on what to do next. I know the first bit of legal advice would be, Kev, stop vlogging about this stuff. I know, but it's a daily vlog. I have to explain to you what's going on in my real life. I just have to, football manager flashing away on my screen there and it's breaking my mind. Um, I did mention before, I'm in the final stretch with work as well. It's 13 and a half days left before I leave. Um, it, very much in wind down mode now. Um, I'm ch I've changed over my desk where I sit in my office. Um, I've, I'm on the verge of moving out of my classroom. My tutor group's being handed over to someone else in a couple of weeks time. Not even that long now, probably. Um, it's all kind of getting to that point now where I'm, I'm one foot out the door. Um, positive spin on that is I am completely finished the course at moderation and the first batch of exam marking. So that's two of the three of those out of the way. And I had deliberately sat up this weekend to get started on the next one. It looks like I've accidentally given myself a day off tomorrow because if you saw the video I put out on the main channel yesterday, um, just the update video, I did say uh, after coming to an end with Tottenham element of my football manager save, I was just going to take a couple of days off, just relax a little bit because I hadn't really had a chance to do it since FM17 came out really. That save started when FM17 was released back in November and it's pretty much been daily since then, give or take a few days here and there for illness. Um, so just going to take a few days before moving on to the next chapter in it. And my thoughts were the next round of exam marking was supposed to start this weekend. So I thought if I spend all day Saturday doing that, break the back of that early on, get ahead because I was never ahead on the other two and just take it a little bit easier with that. It's due the day before we go to Blackpool. It'd be nice to get a head start on it, but it doesn't look like it's going to work out that way. I had an email from the exam board this afternoon saying we can do standardisation at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning where we get five of each question, have to mark them, have them sent off to a team leader, and if they agree that we're marking correctly, we can then access live papers and start marking properly. But this exam board works slightly differently to the one I was using before, where that whole system is all automated, and there is, there's someone at the exam board that actually has to turn that on in the extra system and they've said it's probably going to be Sunday afternoon at the earliest, assuming we're signed off by our team leaders at 10 past 10 when I send the standardisation through. So. I'm going to do that tomorrow morning and then I've got the whole of the rest of Saturday with nothing to do. I've deliberately set aside there's going to be no football manager until sort of Sunday afternoon. I might record a video uh, tomorrow and then not have to do it on Sunday so that I can spend Sunday just doing the exam marking. I'll see how I feel but tomorrow potentially is my first proper day off for... I mean I don't even remember the last time I didn't have anything to do whilst I was at home. Obviously we've had weekends away and stuff. But a day at home with nothing to do, I don't think that's happened probably since August. So we're looking at like 11 months since I last had a day at home just with nothing on. 
I don't know what to do. We're going to have to go out somewhere. I'm going to go mental being tied in this place. Nothing, nothing going on, nothing to do. I'm going to be so bored. My brain just doesn't work that way. But I recognise it's something that I need to do. Have a little bit of a lie-in. Maybe have an early night as well, which I can't do tonight because I've got the podcast. But certainly tomorrow night I can try and go to bed a little bit earlier. Play a few video games maybe. See what's new in the last year. And just generally chill out a bit. It'd be nice to get out and fly the drone if the weather's good. Maybe take day for a walk and just generally chill out. And I think it'll do me the world of good going into what is going to be a hectic three-week period that's going to involve finishing off this next batch of exam marking and then that'll all be done for 11 months now. I won't have to think about that again until sort of May next year. Um, and then finishing off my last two and a half weeks at work. We've got Blackpool for Play Expo Blackpool. Our, play, our press passes for that have come through now. And I'm launching two new Football Manager series. One is a direct continuation of Nodley to Legend. One is a spin-off one that we've hinted at a little bit. And within that three-week period as well, I'm making my Twitch come back because at the moment I'm not working for the school anymore. I can go back onto Twitch and I'm really looking forward to that. I love Twitch streaming. Um, and I'm also looking to start FIFA on the main channel as well because I've been playing FIFA more than Football Manager for the last month or so. I'm loving that at the moment. So lots and lots and lots of stuff going on. T-shirt sales have gone brilliantly. If you've already bought one of the new T-shirts, thank you for your support. It's massively appreciated. It all goes into that trying to make sure we don't start before Christmas fund that is nicely growing. I'm, I'm quite happy with the progress we're making on there. Um, and it's applied for our student finance today, so that's another weight off our minds. And it's looking for the first time since probably February when we start first started to bounce around the idea of me leaving work it's starting to look like it's really properly doable even without busting my backside doing five videos a day on YouTube or anything silly it should just about work I think I need to do I'll run some proper sums probably in a couple of weeks I don't want to spend tomorrow doing it and stress myself out but probably early in the summer holidays I'll run all the numbers properly if there is a shortfall We'll make sure we spread this pile of money that we're slowly accumulating out across a good spell of the shortfall. And then we should be all right. I feel really positive today. I think it did me good getting that nonsense off my chest yesterday. But I said it'd be short. It's already nearly 10 minutes. So I'll end it there. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'm going to play some, some FIFA probably. Cheers.